Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing VirtualBox on Windows 11. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. And the minimum requirements are actually going to be based on Windows 11 and not so much on VirtualBox because the requirements for Windows 11 are a little bit higher. So what we want to make sure is that you have a compatible 1 gigahertz or greater dual core 64-bit processor, either Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, whatever the processor is. It's got to make sure it's at least dual core and 1 gigahertz or higher. Then you have to have at least 4 gigs of RAM. Um, I definitely think 4 gigs is too low, but that is the minimum requirement. I'd suggest having having eight gigs or more and 20 gigs of hard disk space. Now that will vary depending on the operating systems that you're gonna to wanna to put on, but 20 gigs would be the base. I wouldn't go any lower than 20 gigs. And then you can balloon up to 100 gigs more or more if you're gonna be installing something like Mac OS. And that's it. So basically if your system can run Windows 11, it's definitely gonna be able to run VirtualBox. So let's get started with the installation. And here we are at the desktop of Windows 11. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first open up my browser and I'm going to go to the VirtualBox website. Just type in uh, VirtualBox and we'll go to the main website. So the official URL for this website is virtualbox.org and we'll click on that. Right up here in the big blue button is the download link. So we're just going to click on the download link and it'll bring us to the download page. And we want to get the platform package for Windows host. So we'll select this and it's going to automatically download. We also want to download the extension pack. So here's the extension pack link and we're going to select that. And we're going to download that as well. We'll install it right after we're done the VirtualBox installation. So we have it complete. We can click on open file and it will execute this file right now for us. And we'll begin our installation. Let me just minimize our browser so you can see it properly. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on next. We're going to leave everything selected. Uh, the location you can change, say if you don't have enough space and you want to locate it somewhere else, uh, you can click on browse and you can select the folder that you want it to be installed in. Uh, we're using version 6.1.26 and the size of this is going to be 217 megs, just so you know what the, sp the size of it. And we'll click on next. We'll leave all the shortcuts. These are uh, your personal preference. You can leave it on or off. I can leave them all selected and then click on next. And network interfaces, we want to proceed, so we'll click on yes. And the last option is just to click on install and it's gonna install all the files. Now, if you get a prompt, you just have to say yes to the prompt. So it's done. It's ready to start VirtualBox. So we'll leave this option selected and then click on finish. Okay, and here it is. So we're at the main screen of the VirtualBox manager and to install the extension pack, we're gonna click on the preferences icon over here. And then in the menu, we're gonna click on extensions. And then we're going to click on this little plus logo on the side. And I have it already downloaded here. So I can just select it and then click on open. And now it's going to ask me if I want to install it. And we'll just click on install. And then we want to make sure that we scroll all the way to the bottom. And then we can select I agree. Say so yes to the prompt and it's going to begin to install. And then once it's completed, you'll get this successful uh, notification. Now you can click on OK. And we have the extension pack installed click on OK again. We're back at the main window and that's it. We've installed VirtualBox Manager on a Windows 11 PC. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments. You can also go to our forum, which is forum.geekwire.com and post any questions there. The community is great and a lot of people are eager to help. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for installations of other operating systems on VMware or VirtualBox or Hyper-V or anything virtual, we're doing it all here on GeekRard Guides. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.